Silence in the court. The case of the People versus Jenny Smith is now in session. All rise for the Honorable Barbara Layton. You may sit, Miss Smith. I don't even know what's going on. Sit. Now, does the defendant not have any representation? Apparently, he's running late, as usual. And what do you think we should do about that, Mr. Kafka? Oh, I don't think we'll need him. It's a fairly open and shut case. I only have one witness to call. Then let's proceed. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. I call Jenny Smith to the stand. I don't even know what I did wrong. Please raise your right hand. Do you pledge to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yeah. Will the witness on. please sit down and only speak when spoken to? You may proceed, Mr. Kafka. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, is your name Jenny Smith? Yes. Are you a Catholic? Yes. I rest my case. But I don't understand. Please return the defendant to her seat. What did I say? What am I guilty of? Jenny Smith, you stand before us accused of being a Catholic. Is that a crime? Of course it is. And as much as you have confessed, I declare wait, you. Wait, wait. Hold that gavel, Your Honor. Now, I'm sorry I'm late. But if you'll allow me to present my case before you render your verdict, your I think Your client has confessed to being Catholic, Mr. Randall. I'm not sure what more we need to hear. Your Honor, you know as well as I do that half the Catholics in America aren't active in practicing their faith. I'm sure you'll find that this is just a simple misunderstanding. Very well. You may begin. I'd like to call my client to the stand. Remember that you are still under oath, Miss Smith. Now, Jenny, are you Catholic? Yes. Why? I don't know. Because my parents are. So if your parents were Hindu, you'd probably be a Hindu, right? I guess so. Take that as a yes. I mean, I would. So what you're saying is, the only reason you're Catholic is because your parents forced you into it, right? Um, no, actually, that's not what I'm saying. Really? Your Honor, I'd like to present as evidence a video of a conversation between Kathy Smith and her daughter Jenny Smith, which occurred no more than two weeks ago. Oh, you're not wearing that to church. Why not? Go upstairs and put something else on. Mom! You know, I hate church, and when I'm older, I'm never going again. If you don't change your clothes and come to church with us, you will be grounded, young lady. Well? Um, I, I was having a bad day. I object. The defense is making it sound like the defendant never voluntarily did anything religious. Does the defense realize that Jenny Smith willingly attended a full weekend religious retreat without coercion from her parents? Is this true, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, it is. You went there to learn more about your faith, huh? Well, of course. To draw closer to God? Mm-hmm. And there wasn't any alternative reason? What do you mean? Two words. Ben Marzone. He might have been there. Might have been there? You two were caught making out by the lake when you were supposed to be praying. We were just kissing. And he's a really nice guy. Your Honor, for every alleged example the prosecution has of my client being Catholic, I can provide you an equally plausible reason as to why she's not. The evidence is all circumstantial. I request that my client be released immediately. No, I'm Catholic, and I like being Catholic. Miss Smith, I deal with people like you all the time. You think that just because your parents are Catholic, that makes you Catholic or because you went to CCD when you were little, or because you don't fight with your parents too much when they drag you to church. You should be lucky I didn't put any of your Facebook posts into evidence. This is ridiculous. Is it? Then let me ask you one question, just one question to eradicate all doubt. Okay. Jenny Smith, when was the last time you served the poor? What? 
you know, fed the hungry, gave drink <clears throat> to the thirsty, clothed the naked. Surely you've heard of these things. They sound familiar. Sound familiar? Perhaps this will jar your memory. <clears throat> when the Son of Man comes in his glory, he will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Now, Miss Smith, if you really are Catholic, that should sound familiar. But I volunteered a nursing home. Mandatory service hours for confirmation, Your Honor. And, and I wear a cross. Many people do. They're pretty fashionable these days. But I... Face it, Miss Smith. You might say you're Catholic, but there's no proof. I find the defendant not guilty of being a Catholic. 